Hello, it's Patrick here from the GarageBandGuide.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can punch in and record multiple takes using one of GarageBand for Mac's most powerful tools. What do I mean by multiple takes? Well, say for example, you are going to record a vocal for your project verse, or like in this instance, a guitar melody for an instrumental part. Chances are you're going to want to take a couple of runs at it and not just use the first recording or take that you capture. Instead of having to manually stop recording after laying down your part and manually moving the playhead back to the place you want your recording to start over again, you can use something called the cycle region. What the cycle region does is start the playhead at the beginning of the yellow region above the garage band workspace and stops it at the end of that yellow region. The playhead then jumps back to the start of the cycle region and goes to the end again and will continue to cycle from beginning to end until you stop it. This is useful for repeatedly playing back a particular section of your project or, as we'll see in a minute, for recording multiple takes in a particular section. The easiest way to activate the cycle region is to click on this grey bar above the first four bars of your GarageBand project workspace. This will turn that grey bar yellow, and that means that your cycle region is now active. You can resize the cycle region by clicking and dragging either end to resize, and you can move it along your project's timeline by clicking and dragging the whole thing. When you're ready to record, move and resize the cycle region as desired, and I would recommend giving yourself a wee bit of extra space at the start so you have a bit of time to prepare before each take is recorded. Then hit record and start playing. Remember that once the playhead hits the end of the cycle region, it will jump back to the start while continuing to record, allowing you to capture as many takes as you need for that particular section. Once you're done, hit stop and you'll see a small number in the top left corner of the region you've just recorded. This is the number of takes that you've just recorded. Click on it to see a menu pop up where you can select from any of the takes you've just captured. Here's a wee pro tip for you, you can mix parts from the different takes you've recorded together to create an uber composite take. To do this, select the region in question, move the playhead to the point where you want one take to end and the other to begin, and use the split command. The keyboard shortcut for that is command and T. You'll now see the take selection number in the top left hand corner of this new region you've created. You can now choose a different take to come in at the point where you've split the region and select from any takes available using the take selection number menu in the top left hand corner of the region. Professional audio engineers use this method all the time to effectively splice together the best parts from a number of different takes to create the best possible end result. And there you have it, that's how to record multiple takes in GarageBand for Mac using the Cycle Region. 
If you're just getting started with GarageBand on Mac or just want a refresh on the basics, you can pick up my GarageBand Quick Start Guide absolutely free. I'll put a link to that down in the description box below. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.